breaking news. Psychiatrist claimed Trump mentally ill, just busted. Enjoy prison. Someone could be in considerable trouble for what they just did to President Trump. The psychiatrist who claimed Trump was mentally ill was just busted for having a massive potential problem. Her name is Bandy Lee and she works at Yale University as a psychology professor. She had the nerve to unprofessionally attempt to diagnose our wonderful President Trump without seeing him professionally in the office. It's probably against the law to do that, and also against many ethical standards among professionals in the medical field. Not only was Lee unprofessional with her fake diagnosis, but she was even caught doing something else wrong. It's reported that Professor Bandy Lee does not have an active license to practice in her profession. That could be why she deleted her Twitter account in a possible attempt to hide from the public who has no problem calling her out and exposing her unprofessional mistake. Her mistake of making a fake diagnosis on President Trump was nothing less than embarrassing and highly unethical. She said Trump has a mental impairment but she probably has not ever met Trump nor seen him professionally with which to diagnose him. If a random person on social media called someone crazy, and it turns out they are a mechanic or any other job, then it's known that they are not a medical professional specifically in the mental health department. It's just a comment on social media, and people don't take it seriously. It's just social commentary at its finest, which typically holds zero merits or accuracy. When an Ivy League psychology professor from Yale makes a statement, then people hold it serious because of her highly ranked and sought-after position. Yale is a major college in America and people who teach there, are, or used to be, held to a very high standard of professionalism. When a psychology professor who is potentially unlicensed makes a public diagnosis on the President of the United States, then there's a major problem with that. Not only is she widely unethical, but she's making false statements about the president. That could be considered an attack upon the president if we go by liberal standards of being offended and maybe that should permanently cost her the chance ever to practice again. If it doesn't take away her already expired or non-existent license and she renews it, then good luck to her getting patience. It will be hard to get patience when she's alienated everyone in America who loves Trump. Here's more information from Campus Reform who did an excellent job digging deeper into the history and license situation of Bandy Lee. Yale University psychology professor Bandy Lee has deleted her Twitter account amid mounting allegations that she is not licensed in her home state of Connecticut. Accusations have been circulating on Twitter that the prominent Yale professor, known for her public diagnosis of President Donald Trump as having a mental impairment and who recently met with lawmakers on Capitol Hill to discuss the issue, isn't actually a licensed psychiatrist. In fact, campus reform discovered that according to the state of Connecticut, Lee's physician, surgeon license expired in 2015, and her application for reinstatement has been pending ever since. Additionally, her controlled substance registration for practitioner license has apparently lapsed, expiring in February 2017. In response to campus reform's inquiry on the matter, Lee simply stated that I need only one license, though she has yet to elaborate on precisely which license that is, and, according to the state in which she resides, she allegedly has none. According to campus reform, it appears as though Bandy Lee has two or three possible licenses that are expired or pending. I'm no licensing expert, but I believe that means she's unable to practice or diagnose anyone professionally. That's probably breaking some ethical agreement she signed into as a trained medical professional. It may also be against the law and maybe she'll spend a few hard nights in the slammer. There's a code of ethics involved in medical those professions, and it's taken very seriously among practitioners. They value the respect that's given to patients, their practice, and their uniformity as professionals. Unfortunately for the rest of the psychology practitioners out there, this Bandy Lee is giving the job a bad name. Bandy Lee may need to self-diagnose herself after she was added as not having a license while giving an unethical public diagnosis to someone who is not her patient. When she says that she only needs one license, but does not state which license it is, then she could be talking about anything. Was Lee talking about a driver's license? Hunting license? Fishing license? Is she a gun owner? 
I hope not. I'm no doctor, but I don't think she would pass a mental health screening if that were a requirement to own a firearm. When will people stop trashing our wonderful president? Trump is doing a great job. The stock market is up, unemployment is reaching lows, and Americans are about to get their tax cuts. Why is the left so hateful and intolerant? Maybe they need an intervention. Too bad Bandy Lee doesn't have a license, or maybe she could have lined up some of the angry and intolerant people and had a long list of clients. That's just my opinion though, remember, I'm not a licensed psychologist either. Either.